Hello everyone, welcome to Venus in the 8th house of your chart. This video is good for you if Venus is placed 8 houses away from your ascendant or indeed from your moon sign. It's also good for a western chart, just make sure you have equal house or sign for a house system. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below and let's begin. What then is the 8th house in your chart, everyone? It's a house of sudden endings, including your own death. But primarily, it's a house of longevity. It's how you survive trauma and sudden change in your life. It's how you transform your life. Start again. It's about resurrection and rejuvenation. It's about research, occult knowledge, hidden mysteries, where you're digging deep to find the very truth of life itself. Therefore, the 8th house has a big connection with astrology, metaphysics, and all occult subjects. It's also about things which we fear, things which we do not understand. It's detective work, spy work, surgery, and everything to do with digging into the very depth to find the truth. It's also the house of shared resources after marriage, business deals, and business partnerships. The eighth house shows wills, legacies, and where other people's finances come to support us. It also represents in-laws. This is a house that sees us through many traumas in life, but long-lasting chronic illness is also shown by this house. And who then is Venus? Venus is known as Sukra in the Vedic system. He is a demigod empowered to bring to us all the enjoyments and luxuries of life. He represents therefore clothes, ornaments, the arts in general, beauty and entertainment. He brings us together with others for deep intimate relationships. His primary purpose though is actually reproduction and he represents childbirth as well as semen. He actually represents every single bond we have with other living entities but specifically he is about women in our life and in a male chart he represents the wife. So what happens when Venus, the planet of all the good things in life, if you want to think of it that way, has gone into the house of trauma, of difficulty, and of course, the house of great change? Well, first of all, Venus is not totally happy to be in such a house because he's a benefic planet. Benefic planets struggle in these Dustana houses. But the most important thing you have to know is the sign of Venus. The sign of Venus will tell you so much about how these karmas will work out for you. Check the video on my channel Venus Karma's All Signs. I will link below and at the end of the video. So Venus, the planet of what we love and we desire in life, has gone into the eighth house, the house of secrecy. People with Venus in the eighth house love everything to do with hidden factors of life and they are tremendously deeply secretive. It is almost impossible to truly know a person who has Venus in this eighth house. So much of their life will be held to themselves until basically the day they leave the planet. Of course, Venus for both male and female represents marriage and relationships. So Venus is definitely going to bring some of the secrecy into your deep intimate bonds with others. You see, Venus here is quite obsessive almost possessive and full of desire for intensity in relationships. You're not satisfied with an ordinary, happy-go-lucky, easy, everyday relationship. You may think you want that, but what you tend to get involved with are very obsessive and intense relationships. Venus in this house gives you a thrill, as it were, from dangerous relationship situations, what were once called I think that there was a book of the name Les Liaisons Dangereuses and this gives you a little bit of a thrill but you see it doesn't help you to get that stability which you deeply need. Another aspect is that this is a house of prostitution in the Vedic system and Venus represents sexual intercourse as I've just said reproduction. So Venus here gives a real intense sexuality, very intense sexual nature. There can be an obsessiveness, a secrecy also. It doesn't mean you become a prostitute, see prostitutes. It doesn't mean that you, you go into porn or something like that. But it could mean that you get addicted to these things if there is affliction from Rahu and particularly Mars. 
Indeed, something else to be seen with the eighth house Venus is there's a fantasy element to relationships sometimes. Even inappropriate relationships occur where you may find yourself falling in love. And by the way, Venus in the eighth house falls in love really fast. You could fall in love with your teacher, your boss, your doctor, your neighbor's wife, your neighbor's husband, anybody where it's inappropriate. And if you were to actually confront these people, you'd probably find that it's more a fantasy than something which you want in reality. The eighth house is, of course, the house of fear. So when Venus is here, there is a fear element towards deep, intimate bonding with other people. You have to be aware of this. You may need some consideration to it. This is partly why you get into so many fantasy factors as well. But the answer to the Venus in the eighth house to make relationships easier is to be less perfectionist, not always looking for the magic all the time, but just being more or less happy with a very mundane, stable relationship. If you can do that, a lot of the pain of this position can dissipate. On the other hand, in a male chart, because Venus represents the wife herself, it could be that the wife has these obsessive tendencies, perfectionist tendencies, and it can put a lot of strain on you psychologically. Again, though, there would have to be a lot of affliction for that to happen. And of course, you must always see the Lord of the seventh house. For both male and female, Venus in the eighth can definitely give an increase in income after marriage, more resources available to you. Help also from your in-laws can be seen. Venus here can also be very helpful for any joint business venture. Venus here will also increase the likelihood of inheritance happening and wills legacies going in your favor. But again, afflictions by malefics might make some difference to that. Now, Venus here will give you a great pleasure in studying the occult, and that includes astrology, because this is a house of the mysteries of life. Any connection, by the way, to the Sun, Mars, or K2, this will help you in your studies, particularly of the mysteries of Jyotish. Now, the eighth house represents longevity. Venus here is very helpful. Venus can rejuvenate you because this is a house of rejuvenation and Venus is the healing waters. You can stay looking young and healthy for a long time and you can actually even heal yourself from a chronic illness with this. Final point is you have a healing touch as well. You can help others get over traumas in their lives also. On your screen right now, Venus in all signs. Check out the karmas of your Venus sign position. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. Goodbye for now and God bless everyone.